What is up guys, we are back with another video. So I had a question that was asked to me by one of our subscribers right here on the channel. And the question was, Jay, how do you connect your MIDI controller to your actual iPad? Now, previously on the channel, I talked a little bit about how to connect your Scarlett Solo, Focusrite Scarlett Solo and your studio monitor speakers to your iPad. And on that video alone, I always get a lot of questions about you know MIDI controllers and creating tracks for your actual YouTube videos because a lot of people know that I create some of my own tracks for my videos or at least I use them every now and then when I see fit, right? So because of that, I get a lot of questions about you know making tracks on the actual iPad and basically showing the power of the iPad when it comes down to music production. So I don't want this video to you know kind of you know mess with the algorithm and flip my channel over to music. So we're gonna keep it really basic. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect a MIDI controller to your iPad, and I'll show you exactly which program that I use to create the tracks for my tech videos. All right, coming up. So what is a MIDI controller? A MIDI controller is a device that controls sound, but it doesn't have an internal engine, all right? So this is the Akai MPK Mini. This is probably the first one that came out. They do have a lot of other versions, but this is the older one, I would assume. Um, and like I said, this thing does not have a dedicated sound engine. So if I was to turn this on and press the keys, you would not hear any sound come out of this. However, if I was to plug this into my iPad or like a desktop or something and run something like FL Studio, BM3 or like GarageBand or something, and I loaded up a flute or some type of horn or anything like that, I can then play those, uh, play that sound across the keys right here. And, and I wouldn't have to use the mouse and click and so forth and so on. All right? So basically this thing just controls the sound. It lets you control the sound as long as you have a dedicated software uh, with instruments, voices uh, or whatever the case, this will be able to control that. All right? so, Let's set it up. All right, guys, so I have the Akai MPK Mini right here. And right here on my iPad on the screen, this is the actual app that you're going to need. And that is Beatmaker 3. Now it is a paid app. I think I paid about 20 or $29 when it came out. I'm not sure how much it costs now, but it is a paid app. All right, so first off, I'm gonna have my USB-C hub right here. And what I like to do is go ahead and plug in my HDMI cable because I like to work on my actual laptop, I mean my desktop screen, I'm sorry. Second, I plug in my Focusrite Scarlett Solo right here, which is the audio interface so that I can get sound from my iPad to my studio monitors right here. Uh, next, I'm going to grab the uh, USB cable for the Akai MPK Mini. Now keep in mind, I'm not sure if this is the cable that came with it, um, because this one is actually long, but this is the cable that you're going to need. Like I say, this is a little bit of an older uh, keyboard, but what you're gonna do is plug that in right here, this side right here. You'll just plug that in just like that. And then because this cable is very, very long, you're gonna have to work with me. I'm gonna swoop it around this way, and we're going to plug that into the USB-C hub just like this. Once I plug it in the USB-C hub, you should see lights come on once it is plugged in the iPad right here. So something for the plug in the iPad right now, boom. It's plugged in the iPad and as you can see, lights are coming on right now. So with that, I'm gonna go into the Beatmaker app right here. Once I get into the Beatmaker app, I'll open up a project that I was working on. And right here, this is how you test your sounds uh, and the actual MIDI controller. So now that everything is plugged in, I'm gonna turn up my speakers a little bit just so you guys can hear all of this. So turn the speakers up. So here's a kick. As you can see, let me turn it up some more. This is a kick that I was working on, on a little project. And this is how you control everything. And you can see the speaker moving right there, moving to the next sound. We got an 808. As you can see, move to the next sound really quick. Got a little clap going. Uh, the next sound, I'm just showing you guys how easy this is. Got a little rim shot going here. Uh, the next one, we're gonna have a hi-hat. Different hi-hats right there. And then we got another version of a hi-hat. And then we also have a pure synth, which is a plug-in. So now I'm controlling the sound, okay? Keep in mind this thing does use plugins. So if I was to go in here and I open up this right here, I can, I'm sorry, let me go back, let me go back, let me go back. So if I was to go in here and I went to the actual plugin and I opened up the plugin, as you can see, I'm using a bell right there at the top. It says bell time. So that's what that plugin is. That plugin you have to pay for. So just keep in mind, if you do get Beatmaker 3, you're gonna have to buy certain plugins. So for me to use certain sounds, you had to buy those plugins and that way you can use them 
with beat maker 3 so real quick so this video won't be won't be too too long i'm gonna go ahead and play uh the track that i was just kind of showing you guys right here i just played what i got so far so you guys can see uh the power of the ipad when it comes down to running it for music production all right and this is how i create tracks on uh for my videos on the channel all right so let's go ahead and play this beat for you guys real quick Okay, okay. We're gonna bring the 808 back. And just that quick, that is how you get your MIDI controller to work with your actual iPad, all right? Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, guys, so that is how you connect your MIDI controller to your actual iPad and run it alongside something like Beatmaker 3. Now, if you found this video to be helpful in some way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that like button so the YouTube algorithm can be nice to this video. It's been your man Jay and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.